John. Come here a minute. What happened? Didn't your client like this Berber house? Oh, yeah, yeah, just loved it. Except the, uh, the living room was a little too large. Oh, well, maybe you should have shown him the Murphy house. That has a smaller living room, but still has five bedrooms. Bedrooms? Well, you see, that was one of his problems with a single man like him. Uh, five bedrooms, just a little bit too many. He, he didn't want a large living room. No, oh, that's right, he didn't. Or five bedrooms. Yeah, that's right. Then what did he want? Don. Uh, you say something? You heard me. What did he want? Oh, oh, yeah, he, uh, he wanted to, uh, to rent a furnished room. Oh, how nice. And, uh, how did we lose the Sperber listing? Yeah, I can't figure that either. All I did was ask Mrs. Sperber to rent him the room. <laughs> well, it's going to be a long winter. I can see that. Oh, Julie, look, don't get upset. Uh, we'll, we'll get the Garcia stay. What makes you think we'll get the Garcia estate? Well, I, I sent flowers to the old man's funeral. Well, there must have been 2,000 people sent flowers to the old man's funeral. Yeah, but I sent them to every member of the family. You what? Well, the newspaper said they weren't even going to open the will until tonight, so how'd I know who was going to inherit the estate? I can't take chances. I just sent flowers to everybody. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I worked in a fish hatchery. Oh, Julie, honey, look, you... Thanks for the Sperber listing, Donnie. As the fox said to the crow, better stop eating those sour grapes, boy. <laughs> Are you ready for dinner, Julie? I'll be ready in a minute, Conrad. Look, Julie, honey, listen to me. Something wrong, Donnie? No, Conrad. Sour grapes, boy. Don S. Holmes of Holmes Over Happy Homes tries to see. The, the Garcia estate? Tonight? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. I could certainly bring Miss Marshall with me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fine. Goodbye. Uh, Julie, we'll, we'll, we'll just have time to get out there. They want us out the house right away. Sorry, Conrad. You'll have to postpone your dinner with Julie. When I have a cable. Uh -huh. Remember what the crow said to the box, Conrad boy? <laughs> it's the early bird who catches the, uh, who gets the, uh, worm. Yeah. See you later, Conrad. The only person who would buy this place is Dracula. Why do you always get involved with houses like this? What was that? Dracula. Huh? Nice voice. Maybe it belongs to one of the relatives who got left out of the room. Look, it's only a dog. What are you worried about? Worried? Who's worried? I'm only worried about you. Look, I'll stay here and protect the car, and, and you go take a look. I mean, you stay here and protect the car, and I'll go take a look. That's what I was going to say in the... Yeah. <laughs> I have respect for our brother's memory. I have no respect for his judgment. Why this clothes, this mug gaiety, reading the will and such and such an hour and such and such a minute. Don Fernando, the day, the hour, and the minute were set to allow ample time for the arrival of Don Jose Rodriguez de Garcia from South America. I doubt if he'll come. I, for one, certainly hope our late esteemed brother did not leave this magnificent estate to such an untrustworthy. Oh, Nemesis, what you mean is that you just want it for yourself. Do you really think he'll come? Oh, I hope so. It has been 20 years since any of us have seen him. Imagine, the famous Matador El Diablo, a member of our family. I wonder what he looks like now. You shouldn't be here. There's a big dog running loose in the yard, and they're all inside. Come on, let's go back to town. I saw the dog. It's chained to a tree. Yeah, but it's a pretty small tree. <laughs> so what do you mean, go back to town? They called us to come out here, and I certainly don't intend to waste the evening. Ring the bell. Yeah, but it looks like a costume party inside. Why spoil our evening? Ring the bell. Yeah. 
Look, Julie, don't, don't you think it'd be Are better... Are you going to ring that bell? The way you act, anybody think you're not welcome here. What do you mean, I'm not welcome here? Of course I'm welcome here. Well, nobody answers. Let's go back. Just a minute. Uh, Julie, look, there's something I've got to tell you. There's something I've got to explain. Oh, how do you do? My, uh, my, uh... My, my. Uh, my, my name is Don. Now, I know. El Diablo. <laughs> I knew you'd come. I'm sure before this night is over, you will be the one who gets the Garcia estate. <laughs> Welcome. El Diablo. <laughs> Not welcome? <laughs> El Diablo. The devil. Oh, look, you're not being diplomatic at all. I think I've run into a, a contact here. You certainly run into something, that's for sure. This way, sir. Just me. Yes. Oh, uh, Julie, you just sit down here. Nice here, aren't they? I forgot my camera. Uh, Frederick, he, he's the butler. He put it on me. Look, for a $5,000 commission, I'll wear a diaper. Hi. Thanks. They look comfortable. I can't imagine why. Don Jose Rodriguez de Garcia. Estoy muy contento de verte, mi sobrino El Diablo. Tanto sí. gusto en verte. ¿Has tenido buen viaje, Diablo? Sí. Ya me he enterado que ha tenido usted una gran temporada de toros en España, bajo el nombre de The Devil. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we would like once again, my dear nephew, to welcome you back to uh, the Garcia home and family after your many years in South America fighting El Toro. Well, you're very kind. Fighting what? El Toro, the bull, the bull. Oh, yes, the bull, the bull. My, 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 my ear is so tuned to South America. Uh, however, if you don't mind, I think I shall attempt to speak in English as I honestly feel as though I've never really left this country at all. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> good, good. We will all speak yes. in English. Oh, well, thank you. My, uh, my dear and wonderful family, it is with great uh, pleasure that I look upon your faces again. For some time now, I have... Hello? I, sir, am Andrew Semple, your lawyer. Oh. Well, just stick around. I may need you. <laughs> oh, say, incidentally, uh, I suppose you've read the will. Could you give me any little uh, uh, thing as to how... The will, sir, will not be opened until after dinner. After dinner? <laughs> well, in that case, let's eat. We've got to find out who wins this house, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Dinner is served. It's just diplomacy. I'm even a bullfighter now. And that's not all. Yes, my late brother was indeed fortunate in recently obtaining Frederick's services. I hope you enjoy the Castilian dish Frederick has made, especially for you, Don Jose. What, what was that? We call it El Torito. Oh, yes, El Torito. It is made with the most heartwarming spices of old Spain. Am I right, Frederick? Very, sir. Only a Garcia 
could have the stomach for Frederick's El Torito. <laughs> Only, if I may say so, sir, El Diablo. <laughs> El Diablo! <laughs> Really That's how it looks from here, too. I shall now read the succession of inheritance to the estate of Don Manuel Rodriguez de Garcia. <clears throat> First, my beloved brother, Don Pedro. Second, my younger brother, Don Fernando. Third, my most outstanding nephew, Don Jose. Fourth, my beloved sister, Dona Maria. And fifth, my niece, Margarita Garcia. Well, you've heard the wishes of the Honorable Don Miguel. I trust it meets with your unified approval. Yeah, but how about the family crest? Who gets that? It's worth at least a quarter of a million. <laughs> well, the, there's no indication in the will as to the disposition of the family crest. Therefore, if it is in this house, it, it is inherited with the property. And now, let me propose a toast to the inheritor of the Garcia estate, my brother Don Pedro. He's dead. He's been poisoned. Well, don't just stand there. This is murder. Well, don't look at me. I'm just a stranger here myself, you know. Snap out of it. If they find out you're an imposter, you're in for trouble. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll uncover the guilty one, or my name is in Don Jose Rodriguez de Garcia. De home. Sir, get me the police. Now, don't let anybody move. Don't even shake hands. And leave every fingerprint where it is until the police arrive. Sir. Hello, police. There's been a murder at the old Garcia place on the Palisades. But, sir. Don't argue with me. Get out of here as soon as you can. There's no time to be lost. Sir. What? Have you seen this? Well, it's a lucky thing I got that call through before this happened. There's another phone upstairs. I'll place the call myself. Oh, thank you. You know? I have a feeling that butler did it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. The butler? He's just acting suspicious to throw us off the track. My heavens, I've certainly had enough experience with crime to know that the butler didn't do it. Butlers never do it. Now, just relax. I've got this whole thing figured out. Oh, I'm so glad, J. Edgar. What's the answer? Somebody in this house is a murderer. I knew it. You've been reading again. Now, will you stop kidding? This is serious. Now, let me see. I know. I'm going to reenact the crime. What good will that do? What good will that do? We'll all be in our exact same positions. We'll raise our glasses in a toast, and it'll happen. What'll happen? The lights will go out. Yes. There'll be a scream. Yes. And somebody else will get murdered. Come on, I'll prove it to you. I can hardly wait. All right, Mrs. Semple, you may proceed. <clears throat> uh, fourth, my beloved sister, Dona Maria. And fifth, my niece, Margarita Garcia. <laughs> Who got it? Don Fernando. I knew it, the next in line. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a plot. But don't worry, I have it all figured out. The only one that has to be afraid is that person who is next in line to inherit the Garcia estate. Yes. And the next in line is Don Jose Rodriguez de Garcia. Ah, good. That narrows it down now, doesn't it? <laughs> the only one that has to worry is, is Don Jose Rodriguez de... Say, that's me, isn't it? Well, I wonder what's holding up those cops. I was told to let no one out, sir. 
Well, what idiot told you that? You did, sir. Oh, uh, come with me, Julie. Perhaps we can get out this way. The Hound of the Baskervilles. We're trapped. Yes, that is right, Don Jose Rodriguez de Garcia, third in line for the Garcia estate. Trapped! Who, 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 who are you? I am the rightful heir of the house of Garcia, and I mean that no one shall have it but me. Well, in, in that case, perhaps we can represent you. Here's my card, uh, Don S. Holmes. <laughs> Don S. Holmes of Holmes Holmes or Happy Holmes. You see, sir, there's been some mistake. I'm, I'm not really Don Jose at all. My, my real name is Don S. Holmes. What does the S stand for? Uh, uh, my name is Don Holmes. Tell the man what the S is for. I can't tell him. I've never even told you. Tell him, will you? Will you tell him? Just tell him, tell him, tell him. Mister, if I tell you, w w will you let me go? I'll be the judge of that. Well, well the, the S stands for... for Sherlock. The S is for Sherlock. Well, what do you know? Fine. Call me Watson. Well, well, I can't help it. See, my father's full name was Donald Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I was born with it. Oh, please don't laugh, sir. Sherlock! Oh, no. <laughs> well, well, now that you know, you'll let me go, won't you? You won't kill me now, will you? No! Not now! Oh, good. <laughs> Nothing will happen to you. You're mine. Mine! Excuse me. Did you see a girl go through here? A brunette, very... You're, you're Don Fernando. supposed to be dead. The knife! You're supposed to be dead! No, I did it myself to throw them off the track. You, you, you stabbed yourself in the back? Why, certainly no. Wait a minute, let's get something straight. Last. It's mine. For days I've been searching to find its hiding place. Now it is I alone who will control the family fortune. You've been searching for this for days and all the time it was in the safe? Well, why didn't you look in the safe in the first place? Too easy. <laughs> Don't tell anyone you saw me. I'm still supposed to be dead, you know. <laughs> oh, come on, open up, will you? That man's a murderer. Thank you. Don, there's still no sign of the police. Now, I'm beginning to think that butler didn't call them. He didn't, madam. What are you doing with that safe open? Why, you must be... Yes, madam. The murderer. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Don Jose Rodriguez de Garcia, better known as El Diablo. I've gone to considerable trouble to get my uncle's estate. Posing as a butler has not been to my liking. It was unfortunate your friend Sherlock stumbled in and temporarily upset my plans. Don, help! Don, help! Don! Yeah, 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 what I, what I, what I... got what the 
to kill her. He's right there. Wait, 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 wait. Well, he's gone. He was there just a second ago. Yeah, I know he does that. I'm after him, too. He opened the safe. What do we do? Julie, look, I've discovered behind this wall a wire. I'm sure it's connected with the speaker system. All we have to do is to trace it to its source. Correct. That is all you have to do. If you live. Stand back, Julie. I'll handle this. He's up here with his tree. <laughs> it's not for nothing that I'm known as El Diablo. But you're not El Diablo. You have to tell that to the dog. What was that? My, my dinner. I, I hid it in this pocket. Your dinner? recipe and try it on Conrad sometime. Look, you go upstairs and unlock the others. I don't know if I should leave you. Don't worry. I'll trace this wire to its source, and I've got the murderer. Or vice versa. you naturally. I didn't want Don to land the estate. Finally, when you didn't come out, I, uh, I figured you were in trouble. <laughs> Testing one, two, three, four. <laughs> Who's that? Shh. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, hello. Well, my, I'm certainly glad you're all here. Tricky's crime I ever saw, but I finally solved it. Really, dear? Who did it? Well, the way I figured it, I thought it might possibly be uh, uh, Don, uh, Don, uh, no. Uh, of course, there's Mr. Uh, Mr. Sample there. He, uh, not him. And of course, uh, Margarita, no. The butler did it. And you caught him. I did? Sherlock, you were wonderful. My hero. Thank you. 